of the city at last. The heroes sought Fiona, the harper, little knowing that others sought her too and did not wish her well. Hey everybody and welcome back to Nightbringer's Watch. I am your host Funk and tonight we are continuing our way through the Bard's Tale 4. Mm. Last time we left off after we did some fairy riddles and I think this is Fiona, yeah? First let's plunder this chest. Oh, some gold skates. And it doesn't look like there's an exit. Oh wait, what, what's that? These creatures look scary, like flying glowy dung. Okay, let's talk to Fiona. Ach, my head. Uh, wait now. Wait. Who are you? Who sent you? Oh, I. You look like adventurers. But how do I know it? You could be more of them crazy bastards in disguise. I'll hear the guild whistle from you before I say another word. Go on then. Okay, we get that. All right, all right. That's the whistle. Good. I'm not sure who you say you are, and I suppose I owe you my life. Charm worshipping bastard nearly did for me. And if you hadn't taken care of the rest of them, I'm sure they would have finished the job. So, thank you. Now, what can I do for you? Rami said you would know about Mangar. <laughs> I know a dozen songs about how he was killed by a few plucky adventurers after he encircled Scara Bray in the ice. I know mothers still use him to scare their children into eating their dinner. What else do you want to know? Ah, uh, he's not dead. Uh, he's been raised from the grave. We need your help. Vian, preserve us. You're serious? Ah, this is terrible. The bastard was hard enough to kill back then when he was laying waste to all and sundry. And he was mortal then. Oh, it's all of a piece the way. Kaith suddenly crawling with cultists and monsters out of your worst nightmares. And at the same time, the Church of the Swordfathers hanging the very people best equipped to deal with it all. Something's going on. Sure. Um... Algreen said Munger might be stopped if we had his reliquary. Aye, he's right. To defeat a wraith, you've got to confront it with its reliquary. Only when spirit and bone are together can it be harmed. He'll not find it where Manga was buried, though. He'll have taken it and hidden it in a locus of power. If you want to kill him, you'll have to find it, then bring it when you face him. Uh, do you know a sorcerer named Yedis? Alguin believes it was he who raised Mungar. I don't know the name, but it has the stench of the charm about it. And if Mangar has taken orders from him, he's likely very powerful indeed. Mm, we heard Yadis tell Mungar to seek... What was it? Kjalmhar of Coil? That's bad. Sialmar is the oldest and wisest of the elves. Yalmar. If these ruffians are after him, they'll be seeking his knowledge, and it's no likely they'll ask politely, is it? Probably not. Where would Munger go to find Sialmar? Sialmar lives in Coil, the realm of the elves. There's not many ways left twixt our world and theirs, but one still stands in the forest of Inshriach. That'll be where Munger is headed, and he'll have hidden his reliquary there too. Likely in some charn ruin. But watch yourselves if you go after him. The Fichte rule there, and they're suspicious folk. You'll want to tread carefully. You heard about the Fichte once. Okay, what do you know of the charn? The first men who ruled before the ice covered the world. They worshipped strange and terrible gods, and built great cities on both land and sea. But then they went too far and challenged the old races for dominion of the Seven Realms. Now all that's left of them is their ruins, 
which lie hidden and festering like cancers in the earth. Avoid them if you can. They can corrupt the unwary. Okay, Fiona, thank you for your help. The Inshriach is to the north. If you seek manga, that's your path. Inshriach. Uh, hang on, before you go. Yeah? Listen, you've got me thinking. I can't just stay here collecting songs and preserving the wisdom of old days when the world has fallen apart around my ears, can I? It's time I stopped burying my head in the past and started using what I've learned to make a difference in the here and now. So, I'd like to come with you. I can sing and play and throw a punch in a pinch. Will you have me? Sure. We would welcome your help. Thank you. Okay, we have the green lady, which is a level 10. Oh, she did level up. Oh, and we have now another slot unlocked. That's cool. So, see, see Belly is a level 11 road that might be coming in handy. I wish we could see not only their stats, but also their abilities. So, for now, I think we are sticking with Fiona. The only other one that we could use where we know of the abilities is the green lady. Okay. Lovely. I'll just pack my harp. Song of exploration learn. What the river takes. Some the spirits of the dead. Oh, and the quest rewards. Did we level up? Oh yeah, our practitioner level up. Perfect. Okay, it's a bit sad that this uh, leveling up or this song learning was not made with a with a you know uh, with something law like or some some plot thing but you just learned it because you now have a new party member mm, but okay she said she can sing but everything should be fine good with our dwarf we were about to go for the command Loyalty to the cause, a duty of the death, the first lethal blow suffered in combat instead reduced the fighter's constitution to one. Oh, that's strong. Honor strike deal 25% damage with targets that are fixated on you. Also, pretty nice. Was this forged by war, iron will, while focusing, gain two armor. The dwarf is not focusing that often. Let's go for the loyalty to the cause, and then we are going for our practitioner. And we wanted to go for the great soul leech. Good. Maybe. I. What do you need? Everyone else lacks some skill points. So what's it about with that? With the dead. What can I do? Dead cultist. And so shall any who come seeking her. For the glory of Yadis, I swear it. Yeah, that sounds grim. Okay. Where was it to in Inchriach? That means to the north. That would be this direction. First off, let's... Go to this place, or whatever, oh, what is this? Not all birds sing beautiful songs, it is for you to show the way. Huh. First off, let's get that herb. There's another one of those pixies. Hmm. We shoot it to this direction. 
Okay, it shatters. It shatters on the. Shadows on the rock. This direction, how about that? Shadows back there, so how do we get that thing to go to this part? This is broken, so we can't open it. I want to shoot you. Ow, that, that, that's been loud. Okay, this is magically blocked, so we are not about to go and um, solve that riddle. Not now, at least. Hmm. There is a hook. I think we haven't used that hook there. Let's see where it will lead us to. That sounds lovely. I want to go in there, but... Oh, wait. Is it is it a shortcut to down? <laughs> Is that some some cabbage god? We're opening a chest with the master lock that we have, and what is this? Mothran full plate cuirass, full plate armor. Does our dwarf? No, dwarf does not have the ability to do uh, to wear this. An unusual book, an odd book found in the well of the Belish lowlands, and six cabbage. Looks like we plundered that thing. Okay, let's read that book. If we find it. Is it a quest item or is it a lore? No, it's a lore. Inspect. Seventh day of uh, K turn. Well, I remember uh, that day. So long ago, I was homeless and starving. I hadn't had anything to eat in weeks. Looking for shelter in a terrible storm, I remember tripping on a stone. I tried to catch myself, but hunger had slowed my reflexes. I fell, sliding down the muddy incline deep into a ravine. The next thing I remember was not the pain or the hunger, it was the smell. That wonderful smell. I slowly crawled my way toward it, and there... Lit only by the lightning of the storm was a patch of bright green orb. I gently lifted one, fearing something so beautiful may be too delicate for my rough touch. I took another long sniff of the orb's aroma and took a bite of it. I had never tasted something so amazing. The crispy texture and subtle flavor was enough to make me cry tears of joy. I thought what God has so blessed me with was uh, with this wonderful gift there was a flash of lightning and that's when i saw you perched on top of a hill surrounded by your adoring legions i needed no convincing i gandhi swore on my undying loyalty to you and your cause i immediately set out to fulfill your plans i started cultivating your loyal soldiers selling them to travelers merchants and even giving them up to bandits and paladins spreading them far and wide awaiting the moment of your call Fear not, I have headed your warning of those calling themselves adventurers. I shall not sell or gift any of your soldiers to them. If they were to find out your plans, they would move to stop us. I await your call for the final harvest, my king, your loyal servant, Gandhi. So this Gandhi has a cult about cabbage. I am not sure if I like that or not. Maybe we should talk to him. Who are you? You are... Ah, uh, no, where, where is that Gandhi? I think... 
Andy has been around here. That sounds awesome, to be honest. I like that a lot. They say Grimsby the Chandler turned into a wolf and ate his. This is Gandhi. Yeah, it's Gandhi. Can we ask him about it? No, we only can buy cabbage. Let's say farewell. Okay, somehow we have to go north. Is there a pathway? That's the thing that we have to ask ourselves. This will be a fight, and no mistake. Oh, we are surrounded by those. Group of 104 power. Let's charge into it. Just to save the first strike. Okay, Falcon Thines Fury. Mark all enemies with Falcon uh, Thines Fury. Damage destinates the mark dealing for true damage to, to the target. And she too can chuck. Uh, Elven Wine requires one, one point? Mm, let's use a Troll Squeeze instead. They have 15! What the? On your word. Cheers, friends. No you. If they have 15, I don't think that I can damage them. Not without magic, that is. Or with a fury. Ready for orders. We have the all out assault and we have the blood for blood dealing 17 damage. Let's go for the guy in the background. So we can assault is 14 physical damage and we... Ah, you know what, we are going to hide and... Chopping would do no damage, right? Ready. Absolutely no. Mental damage, though, should work. Let's taunt this guy. And we can deal some damage to this one. Okay, our turn. How about you doing a war strike? Mental damage. We said was effective, right? Ready for orders. Ready. How about you going to chuck another throw squeezins and then? With this, Wayland's Watch target foes are shrunk, reducing the strength by 50% for one turn. Drunk 3 reduces strength by an additional 20% and intelligence by 50%. Oh, that's nice. But I think Falcon Finds Fury is what we are like to go for. Why the sword, Father? What have you done? Yeah, do you like to know? Yeah. Seventeen physical because we are hidden. The heathen will not be Let's try it. There, the monk exploded. We are going forward, and crooks is. Um, channeling. Me. Music is the stuff. 
Hmm. Let's drink an elven wine for the last point. And we too can use the fucking Times Fury, though I do not know if it stacks. No, it overrides the effect. Okay. Okay, first off, meditate. We need you with as many spell points as can be. Then I think I want to get rid of this guy. Okay, one is down. Uh, intelligence is seven, so we're getting drunk. Now oh, come on, this one on our throw banded. Let's have an all-out assault for the next round. Then we are going into the shadows. We are battle ready. Deal. We have four spell points, twenty damage, a uh, twenty mental damage, um, and with a crit we would gain an additional one. So I think we are sticking with a ward strike for now. Nah, it didn't. It didn't explode. Ready when you are. On your yeah. On your what else could I do? What else could I do? Maybe you should get drunk. But I think we are going to do that next time. Uh, next round. Amorant's pretty annoying. Though it doesn't really matter because we only have one armor. Okay, we have... No mental ability here. There's a spell point we can use on our dwarf. Then we are getting dead drunk. Oh, it's lagging. We are, we are getting smashed. Healing our guy back there. Eleven physical. The thing is that 
doesn't matter. Oh, they lost armor. When did they lose armor? Still, 3 times 11 would... Um, Um, would still be um, absorbed by the armor, but the top, on the other hand, will deal a bit damage. Let's do the Ar arcane barrage. And another time, and then go and meditate. Ready when you are. You're staying there. All cooldowns are used. Let's fixate that guy on us. And end the turn. Healing light is really annoying. Did you meditate and gain only one spell point? Oh yeah, right. That's how it works. You're drunk, right? How much has four intelligence? It's the basic bard, huh? I should have taken uh, the green lady with me instead of uh, Fiona. Going to shoot some mental damage and meditate. Here is still still some coulons on on the run. Good. We healed and how about we are going into the into the back row? Welcome back. Uh, you're going to heal our rogue. We're immediately going to meditate. I want to use that arcane barrage in one turn as often as possible, so they don't have the chance to heal themselves. But boy, they are tough. We have only one stack of drunken. We are going to heal our dwarf. How about we are doing an all out assault? Oh, and we can kill it with that. That's nice. What's that? That's the rooted, right? Dealt damage, but we are not able to move in the background. We have had our... Yeah, okay. How about we taunt that guy away from our rogue? And then we are going to end the turn. Ah! Damn it. We're going to heal. Yes. And meditate? Or should we go for the war strike? 
Let's go for a war strike. And we are going to switch positions. Oh, why are you burning? And then we are ending the turn. Okay. Now what? How about you go and meditate? You should get drunk. So you can heal. Oh, come on. Now it works, okay. This character's armor on slow. This is the armor in from the enemies. This is not a buff that we have. We are going to heal ourselves. How about we are trying that because of the knockback effect that the Draven Stout gives us? Um, do you have anything you could do? No. Ah, Conjurer's Mark also explodes for zero damage. The yeah, armor rent's freaking annoying. That guy has 35 life left. We have 5 spell points, that's only 25 mental damage. So we are channeling a war strike for the next round. Come on, heal the dwarf. And Chuck. Ah, oh, yeah, right, you're stunned. We are going to end the turn. <laughs> okay, let's do some mental damage. Meditate immediately. Ah, I wish we did not have lost our, our rogue. You're healing yourself, you're healing our dwarf. Drink. Drink. How about we are doing some Falcontine's Fury? Okay, sadly we can't deal the last three damage. I like the mean drunk, but with so much armor on the enemies, it's hard to deal any damage at all. So the mean drunk is completely useless. <sighs> Go and channel some more spell points, please. Sad that our rogue died. He at least 
was able to deal some damage. Try me. 33 life has 4, that's not enough. Okay, we are keeping our our bot here alive. Oh, the fucking times to and end the turn. Okay, has six. We are going to get rid of this guy. First 9 mental damage, then 4 true damage. Next, we are going to shoot so many arcane barrages on this guy that he completely explodes. And we leached some, some spell points. And you're going to Come on, fight. Shut up, heathen. On your word. Music is perversion. That's not two stacks, Sanctuary Heal. Okay. And to turn, I think that looks pretty awesome for us. Has healed, but it's the last man standing of him. We have three, so we are going to use the fucking times. Our fury. We are going to heal. Chuck another one. You two, chuck another one. And you're going to meditate. Okay, then let's end the turn. Did they have... Uh, 15 armor because that priest has been there? Could that have been a reason? They're immediately going to... <laughs> oh, Fiona's drunk. 32. Not that much. If we that head knocker ready, I think we could do it. But let's wait another turn. Okay, head knocker. Then a physical or the fucking finds fury. Trigger and then we are going to barrage this, this guy down. And another one. Boy, what a fight. And look how many experience points they give. Phew. Okay. What can we do with our bard? Has two skill points. Um, Rebel Rosa Master. Mark all enemies with fucking times. Fury damage detonates the mark. 
Yeah, uh, that's completely on this on this line. How about some max intelligence? Would be great, I think. Every other one did not have a level up, sadly. Ooh, okay, and with that hard fight uh, behind us, I leave you to freedom for today. Yeah, I don't think that there will be another episode after this one. So thank you all for watching, liking, sharing and subscribing. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!